certified most accurate. Now your first worn five forecast. Well, good Monday morning. I'm meteorologist Matthew Mondra with your first worn five update for this Monday. We're starting off pretty cold, but with a lot of sunshine, we'll warm back up into the lower 60s around 62 this afternoon. Northeasterly wind, though, is going to keep the shoreline just a little cooler, looking at 59 in Bay City, 50 in Port Hope and East Taos by this afternoon. Here's a look at our low temperatures for Monday night. They've actually started to trend a little bit cooler, especially in those northern and western counties closer to around 36 to 35 for tonight, so not as cold as the Sunday night was, but still cool enough where some patchy frost might be possible. So that is going to be something we'll look out for for this Monday night. I would expect to see some more frost advisories for this upcoming night. Now your first one five sky tracker has high pressure off to the west that moves in for today, and that's what's allowing the dry weather and a decent amount of sunshine too. But just like we saw on our Sunday afternoon, some of these fair weather clouds will start to bubble back up just with the heating of the day, but still no wet weather is expected as we head into your Monday evening here. Still staying dry, but then through the overnight we see some of these high clouds moving through. That's actually good news for us, especially in our western and northern counties that will act a little bit like an insulator as we start to cool off through the overnight hours, and that's part of what's contributing to tonight's temperatures being just slightly warmer than Sunday nights. As we head through your Tuesday here, we're dry in the morning, so looking good for the bus stop and for your morning drive and throughout the day on Tuesday too, still staying dry, but certainly more cloudy than what we're expecting for this Monday. That's all ahead of our next rain chances for this upcoming Wednesday and all the way through Thursday and Friday too. Just a few updates on that. That rain still looking pretty likely for Wednesday, but with the jet stream slowing down just a little bit, that rain looks to come into the area just a little bit later, more so in the afternoon on Wednesday rather than in the morning. Previously, it was looking like the entire day on Wednesday was going to be pretty rainy, but one thing that has stayed the same is that the showers should still linger into Thursday and Friday and our rainfall totals will still be fairly impressive through the three days, starting to trend lower just a little bit due to the later onset of that rain, but still close to around an inch of rain when everything is all said and done by the end of the work week. So that will be pretty beneficial for any plants that you've maybe started planting. Now your 70 forecast fast forwarding to the holiday weekend ahead 72 on Saturday, 80 on Sunday, so a little warmer for the holiday weekend. There are some smaller shower chances there, but it doesn't look to be a washout by any means. So that is good news if you do have any holiday plans for the weekend, but on your 7 day forecast Monday and Tuesday staying dry. So if you have any outdoor plans, plans the next two days, the weather should cooperate. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.